Hi, I'm Jim Greenwood, President and CEO of Bio. If you really want to understand biotechnology, you need to get out to the laboratories of our companies. There you'll meet some of the most brilliant and dedicated scientists in the world. They're coming up with new cures for diseases, they're discovering renewable fuels, and they're helping to make the world's farmers more productive. And what they do is astonishing. Biotechnology has had a huge impact in how we produce food and how we diagnose and treat disease. Biotechnology can also aid society in meeting its energy needs. Here at Zymetis, we're developing revolutionary technologies to enable the economic conversion of cellulosic biomass into second-generation biofuels such as cellulosic ethanol. Cellulosic ethanol is one of the most promising carbon-neutral transportation fuels on the horizon. With our technologies, we hope that cellulosic ethanol can displace a large fraction of the fossil fuels being consumed in the United States. Personalized Medicine is one of the most important and exciting investors in modern biotechnology. It is moving us from simply diagnosing disease on the basis of symptoms to be able to map the underlying root cause of disease at the genetic level or the proteins coded for by disease. Modern molecular diagnostics enables us to now define distinct subtypes of disease, each of which will require different treatment. The fusion of diagnostics and therapeutics will be an extraordinarily important element in modern medicine. Radical gains in healthcare delivery will follow from this. Better diagnosis of disease, earlier diagnosis of disease, and most importantly for the patient, the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. Here at Yale University, we have identified a new mechanism to induce cell death in cancer cells. The currently used chemotherapeutic agents usually induce what is called a caspase-dependent cell death pathway. Therefore, the identification of a new mechanism that's caspase-independent opens new venues for treatment. What's even more exciting is we have identified a compound that specifically targets this. NV128, a compound from Novogen, targets the mTOR pathway and significantly decreased tumor size in mice in doses that are not toxic. We are very excited because this would help facilitate the transfer from the lab to the clinic and would help improve survival of a lot of cancer patients. At Tengion, we're developing new organs and tissues produced from a patient's own cells. Our first product is a regenerated human bladder, or a neobladder. In order to create the neobladder, we first obtain a biopsy from the patient, isolate and expand the cells in our laboratories to create a neobladder construct. When the construct is reimplanted into the patient, it triggers the body's natural regenerative process, which develops the neobladder as the patient's own tissue. It's an exciting time to be here because we have a unique opportunity to improve the lives of patients through the application of our technology. The completion of the draft sequence of the Corn Genome Project has been an important milestone for corn technology research and development. Here at Monsanto, we are using these technologies along with biotechnology to help farmers meet the growing demand for food, feed, and fuel. We also use these technologies to help us with new traits, such as drought tolerance and nitrogen utilization. Drought and nitrogen use important inputs, which we are now able to use less of to increase the productivity on the corn acre, thus improving not only farmer productivity, but also improving the impact on the environment. The men and women of our member companies are leading a revolution such as the world has never known. And biotechnology is boldly healing, fueling, and feeding the world, and we're just getting started.